Home Alone. It's a holiday classic. So it's time to rank the films right before the holidays. These are only my opinions. So let me know your ranking in the comments. And my ranking may change over time. It depends on how I feel. I update my ranking on Letterbox. Warning, there might be spoilers. That being said, let's get the show started. Number three, Home Alone 3. It's watchable, I guess. Number two. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. This is basically the same film as the first one. It follows the same beats, except Kevin is lost in New York. He has to defend a toy store. And there's a pigeon lady that replaces the neighbor from the first film. Even if everything follows the same beats as the first film, do I care? No. It's still funny, it's still a feel-good movie, and it has Tim Curry. It doesn't really bring anything new to the table. It's just a sequel, and it's like the first one. But to be honest, I would take this one over the rest of the sequels. The actors in this are still legendary, and you can clearly see Joe Pesci has less trouble trying not to swear in this one. Number one, Home Alone. The original Home Alone is a classic. This belongs in the same league as Die Hard and Ghostbusters. It's lightning in a bottle. Chris Columbus created something really timeless. It starts out with a family going on vacation and they forget their kid alone in the house. This is done in a way that is totally believable. Everyone isn't in a hurry, and they just forget and miscount the children. So Kevin is all alone. Macaulay Culkin brings this character to life and makes this film as amazing as it is. Without him, this could have been a generic Christmas movie. He is quickly confronted by the Wet Bandits, played by Daniel Stern and Joe Pesci. They are simply legendary in this. So Kevin has to fight them off with everything in his house. Mankins, toys, cars, a BB gun, everything goes. This makes most of the comedy for the movie. This is a very funny movie and it's also heartwhelming. It's really a good feel-good movie. You have subplots with his fear of the furnace that he will learn to conquer. And this also the subplot with his neighbor. And around some time, Kevin is starting to miss his family. Really adds a layer to this movie. It's a great movie. Definitely deserve the status of a classic. So what happened to the other three? I, I just forget about them. So this ends my series. My ranking series. I want to know your ranking from Home Alone. Thank you for watching.